In this media, you will learn how clouds are formed. Let us see an activity which explains about the formation of clouds. Take a glass and fill half of it with water. Clean the outer surface of the glass with a clean and small cloth piece. Few pieces of ice cubes should be added to the water. Wait for a couple of minutes before observing the changes taking place on the exterior of the glass. You could notice water droplets on the outer surface of the glass. The ice water cools the surface of the glass, which in turn cools the air surrounding the glass. And the air consists of water vapor, which condenses on the glass surface. This process is called condensation. You would have noticed dew on the leaves of grass and on the metallic surfaces, such as gates and iron grills during winters because of condensation. Water is brought back to the Earth's surface through the condensation process. As we move above the Earth's surface, it feels cooler. Similarly, when the air moves higher, it gets cooler. At certain heights, the air gets cooler and the water vapor present in the air gets condensed and forms small water drops known as droplets. These droplets float in the air and are visible to us in the form of clouds. Many small-sized water droplets combine together, which result in the formation of large-sized water droplets. Some water droplets become very heavy and fall on Earth's surface as rain. In certain conditions, these water droplets fall on Earth as hail and sometimes as snow. You would have noticed fog at the ground level during winter mornings. The formation of fog is also due to the water vapor condensation at the ground level. Thus, Water vapor gets into atmosphere through the process of evaporation, as well as transpiration, and then the formation of clouds takes place. And these clouds reach the Earth's surface as rain or hail, and sometimes as snow. Thus, you have learned how clouds are formed.